Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Adelina and I make videos about living in my tiny house on wheels and living a more intentional life. I'm also working on uh, converting this 2017 Dodge Ram Promaster 159 wheelbase 3500 into a camper van. The conversion process to date has been quite interesting. I've had some um, successes and I've had some serious challenges. I'm looking at you, Windows. But <laughs> today I am going to set up my bed at the back of the van. Now, the whole purpose of doing this build the way I'm doing it is because I want to take it out, I want to test it out, I want to see how I feel about the layout, uh, sleep in it for you know a while to get a feel for what I really want when I do the full conversion. Um, so I have, I'm just doing a temporary setup for now for my bed. Um, I will be honest, I already have slept in the van, I already have set this bed up once before. Um, I took it out on the long weekend here in the August long weekend here in Canada and I went for four nights to stay with my friend who has a, a cabin at a lake in British Columbia. I slept in the van the whole time. I did not cook in here because I don't have a kitchenette or anything set up but I did sleep in it and it was very comfortable. <laughs> so I'm going to show you what I did for my uh, bed and I'm going to reset it up today. I had to take it apart and get the mattress off there because I was cutting the opening for these windows and I did not want metal shavings uh, on the mattress and I didn't want to have to work around the frame that I had set up. I'm doing a temporary setup in that I'm going to basically zip tie the, um, the slats for them that are holding the mattress uh, for now. Eventually I will screw them down to the railings but I want to be able to take this off easily um, and do the insulation and then walls and things like that. So I don't want to have to unscrew a bunch of screws when I do that. I found that when I used zip ties to, uh, to uh, secure the slats to the railings, it was very secure, very safe. And all I had to do to get it off was cut those zip ties. So that was super easy. That's what I'm going to do again today. But I want to show you what the setup is for now and what it looks like with the mattress and the bed all made because it was <laughs> it was really cool I really enjoyed it and it was so comfortable in here uh, I really can't wait to take it out again I am going to take it out this weekend to go visit some family um, up north in Alberta and uh, I think it'll be cool just to show it off a bit but the more I stay in it the better feel I have for how I want it laid out when it's fully converted um, you know, I lay in bed and I kind of imagine what it'll look like with the kitchen. Where do I want the kitchen? Where do I want the bench seat? What kind of uppers do I want? All that sort of thing. Do I want a shower or, you know, a permanent shower? Where's the toilet going to go? All of those things. You get a much better feel for it when you're actually staying in the van. So that's the goal. That was the whole, always the goal for this summer. And then fall and winter was when I was going to start a more a formal fit out uh, and you know actually do full wiring and plumbing and things like that. So let me show you what I did. What I did was is I went to Ikea and I actually purchased three of these three of these Scorva uh, bed rails. I was going to actually build my frame from wood, but wood is so expensive right now that I just decided to do it this way. The nice thing about these, these brackets is that they're adjustable, so you can have uh, them for any width that you need. And I've decided to put my bed widthwise at the back here of the van. So when you buy these brackets, these rails, they don't, did I say brackets? 
these bed rails, they don't come with brackets, but if you go to the customer service at Ikea, they will give you the brackets for free. So I went there and I got six brackets and let me show you what those look like. These are the brackets that you want to, to go with the Scorvo bed rails. The uh, bed rail just sort of latches in here and then rests on here. So how did I attach this to my wall? I used self, I used metal screws, a good sturdy metal screw to attach it to this rail. I had seen some options where people who've used these have uh, put a piece of wood, screwed a piece of wood in here first and then put the brackets. I've seen that some people put L channel uh, here and then screw this, the brackets to that. Um, and I have even seen people use rivnuts to attach these brackets to the side of the van. I decided not to do that. I decided that I would just get uh, a good metal screw and screw directly into this frame. And so that's what I've done for all of these. Um, I drill, pre-drilled through and then attached the brackets. I've just used two and they are very sturdy and they have, they held the bed perfectly when I stayed on it the last time I took it out. Also for my Kia, I got uh, a double size set of the slats that go across the bed rails. Um, there's two of them and I decided that what I would do in the center rail is I would have the the wood slats kind of uh, finger join or like interlace is, is the word I'm looking for. And then eventually once I decide that yes, this is how I want my bed, I will actually screw each pre-drill and then screw each of those slats to these bed rails. But for now, I don't want to do that because I'm not 100% sure that I want a fixed bed. And so I want to leave my options open and I don't want to have to unscrew everything every time I want to take it apart to then say put uh, finish the insulation or actually put cladding on the walls and things like that. This gives me a bed I can use that's nice and sturdy but that isn't permanent um, so that I have some flexibility. So I'm basically going to do the same thing all across <laughs> and fast forward. Okay, I've got the bed in and I've got it set up for my weekend coming up. Today is Wednesday and I'm leaving after work on Friday. So let me show you what it looks like. Um, the lighting's not so great. I did close the back doors because um, I didn't, I thought it would be better for lighting. Hopefully it is, but let me show you. So here's what it looks like when you open the door. I just have a mat here for dirty feet and then uh, a rug that I had in the house that I wasn't using just below the bed. I've got my swivel seat here. I'm really looking forward to using that. And then I just set up my plastic table there uh, because eventually there will be either a bench seat there with a table or a kitchenette, but one of the two, you can see that I have started my insulation, my thin slate insulation. I did receive the rest of it um, so I can finish that. So here's the way the bed looks. I found these rattan bins at Ikea in the clearance section for a couple bucks each. So I thought that was a cool idea. And I have shoes and I put clothes in, in those. And then on that side, I, I usually keep my Jackery, um, the charging stuff for the Jackery, some uh, wipes, uh, sanitizing wipes in my garbage can 
in there and then there's tons of room under there for whatever I might want to put under the bed and then my bed it's very comfy I do have a little stool right here for me to get up on the bed because it is pretty high so for me to get up here so here I am on the bed this is a double bed uh, that's full length because this the pro masters are so wide it allows you to sleep widthwise which I really wanted to so if you see if you can see I've got plenty of room uh, again I'm only 5'4 but there's lots of room here for somebody who's taller. So I actually have two of these little lanterns that I bought. They're battery operated. This is what I'm using for lighting in the van for now. Can't find the other one. I know I've got it. I had used it the last weekend that I took it out. You can see that I have started the Thinsulate insulation um, and I did find, I did finally get the rest. Another thing that I bought at Ikea was several of these little uh, bins and they just go right there which is really nice I found this actually at the stationery store I usually put my phone in there at night and my van keys in there one of the things that I do have that I really like is this USB fan I think I found this one at JISC they sell them in a lot of different places um, Canadian Tire sells them as well probably should have bought it there it would have been a better quality but this one actually works really well and I've used it um, the last time I took the van out the first time I took the van out and I use it with my Jackery this is the Jackery 160 I charge it in the house and it lasts a long time I had that little fan going the first time I took the van out because it was quite hot and it barely drew down anything because uh, it, that's a 9 volt so USB uh, fan I love this thing. I wish that it had the, um, is it DC? DC, the one that looks like uh, it fits into the cigarette lighter. I wish it had that. I wish I had bought something that was more powerful. So I'll probably end up buying a, a second one, something more powerful down the road because this will probably be my, my electrical, electrical system for quite a long time. But it does work really well and I'm glad I have it because I can charge my phone, uh, my laptop, all sorts of things like that on there. It does have the uh, AC outlet here. You can plug it into the van to charge. And I also have the, I also have the uh, solar panels that you can buy with the Jackeries so I can set those outside in the sun and charge this or actually charge devices straight from those solar panels so I thought that was a pretty good pretty cool thing to be able to do I do really want to do something about a little kitchenette sort of space here and the little one from Ikea I can't remember what it's called now Sinestra I think it is is sold out here in Calgary and you can't order it for some reason um, you have to wait for it to come back in stock so I'm actually uh, taking a drive up north to Edmonton this weekend to visit some family and they have it at this at the Ikea there so I'll probably buy that and I have a really cool idea for water because I obviously won't be plumbing in water I don't have water tanks or anything like that but I saw a really cool uh, video on YouTube where I learn everything and I thought you know that would be really great for the van so I'll share that with you uh, once I get what I ordered off of Amazon that's the van as it stands right now here's what it looks like from the swivel seat very comfortable I didn't show you this I actually got this blackout curtain from Ikea as well and this curtain rod for now I've just uh, tucked it in here and put these clamps on either side they're nice and uh, sturdy and so then I've got a blackout curtain for nighttime I just tie them back with a little bungee here and then they stay out of the way um, and that has been fantastic at keeping the light down when I'm trying to sleep or giving me some privacy when I want to change. I think you can see that there is a lot of room in these Pro Masters and having this swivel seat 
I think really opens up the space as well because it makes it part of the living space. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Give the video a thumbs up because both of those things really help the channel grow. And if you haven't already, head over to the second channel, a little bit about a lot of things. I will link that down below where I share recipes, and reviews and just lifestyle stuff that doesn't necessarily fit into the tiny living category but that i just want to share with with all of you that's it for this van build vlog say that 10 times real fast i hope you enjoyed it um, i hope these vlogs are interesting and that you're maybe learning uh, a little bit from my uh, adventures and <laughs> challenges and mistakes uh, so that maybe if you're planning on doing something like this you don't have to go through the learning curve that I'm going through uh, but anyways I'm loving every second of it so that's not a big deal I will see you next Sunday